What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. If you haven't seen one of these on my channel in probably a month or two, which is funny because they seemingly haven't gone dead yet. They're still alive. Flip phones, guys. This is the TCL Flip Pro. I'm going to talk all about it and what I think about it. This is 80 bucks if you buy it outright on Verizon's website. It's it's compatible with Verizon's website, works over LTE, has HD voice calling. It's pretty crazy in terms of like the price and you know, if you just wanted the phone with some service, you know, this is gonna work for you. Uh, let me just throw a little graphic up about the TCL Flip Pro. This is pulled right from the TCL website saying that it's easy to use. It's got built-in voice assistant. Large, easy to read keypad, enhanced uh, voice over LTE qual quality with HD voice, reliable performance with a quad core processor, 4G LTE and the KaiOS 3.0 operating system featuring preloaded apps like Google Search, Google Maps, Kai News, Kai Weather, plus download games and other apps from the Kai store. Compatible with wired or Bluetooth earbuds to enjoy music and calls privately, long lasting 1850 milliamp battery you can get 24 hours of usage out of that and it's video capable two megapixel camera to capture your favorite moments now this comes with a few things that my samsung phones don't come with anymore one of the things comes inside this box and that is a charger you get a charging brick and a usb-c cable that's right so if you're coming from android you get a nice usb-c cable meaning that when you charge this up on the side here it's gonna work great because it'll, you can plug it in like this or flip it around and plug it in. So you don't have to worry about like those old school cables where it would have issues figuring out uh, which side to, to plug it in. Here's the phone right here. It's very lightweight, it's very, very lightweight. Um, build quality, eh, not that great. I mean, it's this. if you told me this is 80 bucks, I'd be like, yeah, that feels like an $80 phone. Doesn't feel like anything. Do I still have the thing on there? I don't think so. I think I took it off. <laughs> the old plastic piece. Um, it feels kind of cheap. Um, so, but again, it's 80 bucks. You get your volume button on the side here. On the side, on the other side, you get your headphone jack. You also get your USB-C charging port. A little speaker back there. Here's the phone. You can replace the battery and all that. So you flip it up right here, the back. As, so if you want to buy extra batteries, you can, which is an old thing I haven't done in a long time, but it's nice to see it on here. I uh, can take this battery out. I'll take it out real quick for you guys. Here it is. Pop that battery out. You can put a micro SD card in here for expandable storage. You can put the SIM card. Um, so it has all that stuff in here to give you expandable storage, but also SIM card and replaceable battery. So it's freaking great it's really really cool and then when you're done you just snap this back on and it is ready to rock and roll after you turn it on there it goes it's back ready and to turn it on you're going to use the if if you don't remember you, you don't remember how to turn a flip phone on press and hold the end button and it will boot up like i said it runs that kai os operating system on there so you love it you hate it but ultimately it's uh, i'm going to move this box away We'll let this boot up and I will come back after it's loaded up. All right, so one thing I wanna let you know is I do not have this set up on a Verizon network. So some of the stuff, unfortunately, I won't be able to try for you. I don't have currently a Verizon account. With that said though, let's just go through how to use this phone. Here's the main display. The display, you can see, it's not too bad actually. It's pretty good um, when you close the phone you can see you can see whatever notifications and things like that out there the speaker is really loud you're definitely going to be able to hear what's going on on your calls and things like that which is always great and then beyond that you can check your notifications just like you would kind of on android if need be if you had any notifications like such as missed calls or a text or an email or something like that it would all show up right there just by pressing this button this other button is your contacts you can come in here and look through any contacts you have and call them you can press up and when you press up it brings up like kind of like your quick toggles so you can change the brightness you can go on airplane mode you can go wi-fi calling if you need it you can turn on your camera bluetooth cellular data and then you can also uh, change the ringtone volume or vibration and all that stuff in between you have a back button right here 
You have a button right here that's dedicated to bring up your text messages. You have a star button, which I believe is custom. No, it brings up your favorite contacts. That's right. Brings up your favorite contacts. From this home screen too, if you press to the right, it'll bring up your camera. And I recorded a little video and I gotta say it's not that amazing. So don't think you're gonna capture some beautiful moments with this because most likely you probably won't. I'm gonna take a picture of this box and just show you. It's pretty grainy. It does not look really good. But I don't think you're buying a flip phone to capture your favorite memories of uh, what you did. I mean, is it passable? Can you get, you know, if you took a picture of a Yeti, you know, is it gonna come through? Maybe, but it's kind of weak. It's definitely not one of its strong points. It looks like you can zoom in on the photo. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So it's kind of cool that you can do that. I said I did a video, so Let's preview my video that I did. That's not it. Let's go into options. Oh, it's on. It's not even on high photos. Now it's at high. It's probably gonna look so much better now. Let me take one more photo. I thought, it, oh, it's on video. So I'll do a quick video here. And we'll do, we can see it. And there you go, it starts recording. Hey, it's Greg. I'm gonna turn it around on me. How's everyone doing? Are you doing great? Thanks for watching the video. And then we're going to put this down. We're going to stop that video and we're going to preview it. We will play it. Yo, it starts recording. Hey, it's Greg. I'm going to turn it around on me. How's everyone doing? Are you doing great? Thanks for watching the video. And we're going to put this so, down. So, pretty weak camera. Don't worry about taking photos of really anyone. Pressing down from the home screen brings up. I, I'm actually not too sure what it brings up because it always brings up this Verizon cloud thing. I don't think it brings up anything terribly important. Pressing to the left, you have like your quick uh, apps that you can, uh, kind of like your app launcher. And then you can also, from the home screen, you can just press in and you get, actually before we do that, I wanna say uh, it shows what network you're connected. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, 4G, uh, battery percentage, time, what day it is. If I press this in and just okay from the home screen, I can bring up the Kai store. The Kai store allows you to download additional apps on your phone uh, if you want to, which I don't know, maybe you do want to. You can download games and all kinds of crazy stuff. There's educational apps, there's social apps such as TweetFit, a better Twitter app for Kai. There's games, checkers, blocks. You can see it runs through it pretty quick. It's, it's actually pretty smooth. You have utility apps such as a sound meter. So it's like, it's not a smartphone, but you know what? It's kind of smart. It's got some smart things that it can do. Sunrise, lifestyle, news apps. So there you go, and some of the apps. You have your contacts. You have your log, call log. You have your Kai Weather. Uh, when I click on this, let's just see if it brings it up. Last time I did it, it brought me in somewhere weird. It basically loads up a website for you to look at on here. Uh, I'm gonna dismiss the CBD stuff. We would like to know your location. I'm gonna hit allow, add cities to check. Okay, I guess it doesn't know. I'll just put, can I put a zip code? I have to search. And that's the other thing, when you type, you have to do the uh, T9 typing, which unfortunately, if you're not good at, which I'm not amazing, how do you do space? There's space. It's definitely much type harder than just typing with, there we go. I'll select San Diego. We'll just do San Diego weather. There you go, 57 degrees, kind of cold here. Today, let's go to the back button. We also have, let me go over here, your news. So you can click on that. And it just loads up, you know, news websites basically on here um, that you can read. It's not an amazing experience. There's no touch screen on this. You have to do everything from from the buttons down here, which again, some people love, some people hate, but I mean, it's a flip phone, so. You can see pretty good in terms of being able to read that. Go back, we have the internet. So if you wanna bring up the internet, you want to load the last page. I don't even know what the last page I visited was, so let's just bring that up. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, you can play YouTube videos. <laughs> I forgot about that. So you might as well do it right now. It brings up YouTube. Uh, if you have a data plan or you connect it to Wi-Fi or both, 
you can play YouTube videos. So I'll play a YouTube video right here just so I can show you my video. Hey, hold up. It's got to add real quick. There we go. We'll make it full screen. Definitely watchable. You can definitely, without a doubt, watch videos on it. It's loud enough. Um, the speaker does sound a little tinny, but it's it's definitely you can hear what's going on. Obviously, you could plug in headphones or Bluetooth, and that would make it even sound better. So all kinds of cool stuff there. Minimize that browser. You've got the cloud, Verizon Cloud, if you want to use it. Messages, your camera, and then you continue going down. You have more apps. Look, like you got some games. Which I I'll be honest, I haven't tried the games yet, but uh, why don't we try? I'll try Whack a Mole. I haven't tried Whack a Mole, so we'll try the KaiOS version of Whack a Mole to see if it actually is worth it or not when it loads up. Start. All right, press the numbers to hit the holes. Okay, oh, five. There we go, nine. This is kind of ingenious. And look at me, I'm a beast at this. I'm not even looking. Pretty cool, so that's whack-a-mole. Go back there. You probably don't want to watch me play whack-a-mole anymore. But you do get a, a bunch of games on here. We have utilities. So you get a calculator. So if you want to use a calculator on here, you could do like five plus eight. And then where's equals? Equals, you just hit select. So there you go. You got a calculator. It's very functional and easy to use. What else do we have? We have a to-do list. So if you want to make a to-do list, you're able to do that. We have, if we can go back here a second, it's still loading up that to-do list. We have a recorder, so if you want to do little voice memos, you're able to do that. You have your gallery, so you can check out if you've taken any photos or videos. Google Maps, so you can bring this up and you can put get directions with Google Maps. This is great. It runs off the internet, obviously, so as long as you have an internet connection, you can use Google Maps to get around and find um, where you're going. You have your clock, you have Google search. So if you want to search for something, you can. Um, I will just search uh, TCL real quick because that's pretty easy to spell. TCL and then search. And you see, it's pretty quick. It's using my Wi-Fi right now, but regardless, it's still, it's still pretty quick. So it's an impressive uh, performance for the most part. You've got music apps, so you can load uh, MP3s onto this somehow. You can go into your settings and control all the airplane mode stuff that I showed you earlier, geolocation, wireless alerts. Press to the right, you have personalization. You can mess with the display. You can change the wallpaper and use camera or just choose a completely different wallpaper if you want. Maybe you want something a little bit, uh, maybe we'll choose this one. So I'll hit save. That's my new wallpaper. Change the brightness, change large text, the bat the screen timeout. You can sh show the battery percentage. You can change your search engine. So you can use Google or DuckDuckGo or Bing or Yahoo. We have notifications. So you can show on the lock screen if you want. You can show content on the lock screen. You can have app notifications. So you, it, it, it's almost, you know, definitely more fully featured than old school flip phones with what you can do on here. You got the YouTube app, which I just showed you a moment ago, which basically just brings you to the website. You can play videos from your phone. You can write notes, emails, FM radio if you plug in a headset, file manager. You can do you no know, questions or whatever. Greggles TV. Greg Wells, almost, but you can you can do uh, voice searching, which is pretty nice. And then you have a calendar. So, you know, for a, a phone that's 80 bucks, that's a flip phone, you can make it as simple as you want by just calling people, or you could make this a little bit more fully featured in terms of being able to search the internet, playing videos, 
loading your music up, stuff like that. So I'd check it out if you're into flip phones. It, like I said, it's not the, the best, most uh, durable flip phone, but you can change the battery. The display is not bad. And, uh, you know, there you guys go. Check it out. I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you down the road. Peace.